It does take some tools to prep the cable. A cable cutter for cutting your cable to length. A Category 6A compatible wire stripper. A flush cutter, and it's important that this be a flush cut tool and not a side cutter because we do need a, a very flush finish on the cable. And then a small screwdriver for re-terminating the jack. And in the package you get the jack body, the wire dresser, and a cable tie. You take your cable and your cable cutters and trim off any damage. Take a CAT 6A compatible cable stripper. We're going to strip about two inches of cable jacket off. You want to inspect the strip point. Make sure there's no nicks in the foil or in the pairs underlying the foil. Carefully take the foil and peel it back and take it straight back along the axis of the jacket. Come out with the metal side outward. Take the drain wire and just spare it back a little bit around the foil. This cable construction has a clear mylar overlay and we want to peel that back and then trim it out using the flush cutters. Just nip the edge of the mylar and tear it back, being careful not to nick the foil. Then we'll take the pairs, splay them out, and expose that pair separating cross member. Then take the flush cutters and carefully go in and cut that out as close to the strip point as possible. The next step in termination is to take the pair dresser and notice that there's a wiring label in the pair dresser that has A and B wiring method. Thread each pair through its window in the pair dresser. Push the wire dresser all the way down to the foil. And then on the label, there's a split color and a solid color. The split color with the white and blue, the white wire of the pair is going to go there and the blue wire is going to go in the solid blue. You want to untwist only as far as you need to to make that happen. So we don't want to untwist down here into the body of the connector any more than we have to. So we're just going to pull these pairs, or these individual wires, back into this wire dresser. So there's the blue pair. And simply pull them into those slots. Once all eight wires are into the slots, then we're going to take our flush cutter and cut these off flush right at the side of the wire dresser. Take the jack body, open it up, and you'll notice there's arrows on the inside of the jack body. There's also arrows on the wire dresser. You need to turn the jack so that the arrows match up with the arrows on the wire dresser. Then just fold these sides of the jack up and just push them together until it clicks. It's got a solid fit there. And then take this drain wire and wrap it around this post at the back going under this window here. Just wrap it all the way around and then we're going to take a cable tie and also wrap it through that window and capture the drain wire under the cable tie. Use our flush cutters to cut off that cable tie. Then come down here and just nip the edge of the foil with the flush cutters and tear it off right at the back of the jack. It's real easy to re-terminate this jack. You just clip off the cable tie, unwrap the drain wire. Right back here, there's two little catch features. And take your small screwdriver and just pry slightly on each of those and the jack body will come apart. And just work it off of the pair dresser. You need to take your screwdriver and pop the wires out of the wire dresser. Go ahead and pull the wire dresser off the cable. It's ready to go again. And then simply restrip the wire and start over again.